Okay, so let's look at one of the applications of LCM or the least common multiple. So I have here a problem from the book New Syllabus Mathematics 7, 9th edition uh, by the Xingli Publishing. Okay. So it says two race cars, car X and car Y, are at the starting point of a two kilometer track at the same time. Car X and car Y make one lap every 60 seconds and every 80 seconds respectively. How long in seconds will it take for both cars to be back at the starting point at the same time? And how long in minutes will it take for the faster car to be five laps ahead of the slower car? Okay, so like in any problem, we need to understand, okay, what's happening in the problem. And one of the best way to do that is to really visualize it. And if you need to sketch or draw uh, the information from the statements, then that will make you, uh, that will help you understand the problem. So let's take it one by one. Two race cars. Okay, so basically, there are two race cars, namely car X and car Y. So they are at the starting point of a two kilometer track at the same time. So we can visualize yeah, to make it. Uh, easier the sub track maybe somehow like this it can be any track okay but we know that the distance from the starting point say if this is the starting point if the car will move from the starting point and goes back to the starting point that's about Two kilometers okay so according to the problem the track is about two kilometers now we have two cars we name them as car X and car Y so let's say that car X is the blue one let's say the car Y is the red one now According to, to the problem, they don't travel at the same speed because car X can make one lap for just 60 seconds and car Y can make one lap for, for just 80 seconds. So if I have to ask you which one is a faster car, then I hope you will agree with me that the faster car is the one that will travel the shorter time okay and that makes car X the the faster car and car Y the slower car okay so imagine if they will move on the on that path on the track we would expect that car X will reach the starting point again at a shorter time faster than the car Y so maybe car Y is still here when car X is already the starting point so we can't say that after one lap they will be at the starting point at the same time so that's our problem here it says we want to find the time so how long in seconds Will it take for both cars to be back at the starting point at the same time? So all we need to, knew, to know is at what time will they be at the starting point again? And this is where the least common multiple will be applied. Okay, So we want to find the common time that they will be back at the same time. So if car X takes one lap every 60 seconds that means 60 120 180 and so on so every 60 seconds a car X will be at the starting point now the car Y on the other hand will be first the starting point at 80 after 80 seconds and then the next time it will be 160 and then the next time another 80 so that's 240 so we are looking now at the time 
of the first time that they will be the same. So that will make them be back at the starting point at the same time. Now we already learned how to, or we have a way in finding the LCM aside from listing down the, the multiples of each number. Okay, we can always do that and find the first common number and that will be our answer but there is another way of finding the LCM and let me use that in this particular problem so to find the LCM of two numbers so here namely 60 and 80 so what we can do is we break the numbers into their prime factors so let's work on 60 and the first number that I can use is 2 to make 60 smaller and it becomes 30 and then another 2 it becomes 15 and 15 becomes 3 times 5 so that makes 60 2 times 2 times 3 times 5 Okay. in the same way 80 So we have 80 is 2 times 40, 40 is 2 times 20, 20 is 2 times 10, 10 is 2 times 5. As you notice, my way of breaking down the numbers is, I'm trying to break it down first in terms of 2. And when the new number it's not divisible by 2 anymore, then I'll shift maybe to a 3, to a 5, and so on. Okay, but going back, so 80 is 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 5. Okay, so after knowing the prime uh, factors of 60 and 80, so what we could do now, so this is a method that we can use. So I write 60 and 80. So I'll list down the numbers again. So that's 2 times 2 times 3 times 5. And then I'll copy the 80. So 2 times 2. And I'll try to align the common numbers. So we still have 2 and then times 2. So I place them here because 60 is already times 3 and times 5. Okay, so we have 2 of 2 and then another 2 of 2 and then we have that times 5 and then you align that to the 5 of the 60. So the technique is to get the LCM, we drop all the numbers as we see them on the list. So the LCM will be coming from 2 times 2 drop 3 so times 3 times 5 times 2 and then times 2 so if we multiply all the all those numbers we will be getting the LCM so 2 times 2 is 4 times 3 is 12 times 5 is 60 times 2 is 120 and times 2 is equal to 240. So the first number, the 60 and 80 will become the same, will be 240. So going back to our problem, so that makes car X and car Y be back at the starting point at the same time, and that time is 240 seconds. So that's the answer to the first question. So they will be at the starting point again at the same time at 240 seconds okay so if you look at it at 240 seconds if car x is traveling uh, or can take one lap for every 60 seconds so we can also uh, know that it has already traveled four laps is for car X for car Y 
at 240 seconds it already traveled um, it's 240 by 80 3 laps okay so that's one lap difference and that actually will lead us to know or in, in solving the second question or answering the second question how long in minutes will it take for the faster car to be five laps ahead of the slower car now if there's a difference of one lap at 240 seconds now let's analyze because they will need now be at the, at the starting point every 240 seconds so they will be at the starting point every 240 seconds so the next time that they will be at the starting point at the same time will be the times 2 of 240 and that is equal to 480 and let us analyze what is happening at 480 seconds okay so the first time after the starting point that they will be at the starting point will be after 240 seconds and we can now expect that they will be at the starting point again at the same time at 480 seconds by that time car x has already traveled 480 divided by 60 8 laps and car y has already traveled 480 divided by 80 and that is 6 laps now the first time that they were at this at the starting point again there was a difference of one lap and then the second time they have a difference of two laps okay and if we try to to check the pattern we hope that at 240 times three seconds and that is equal to um this is 12 and 1 7 20 seconds we can now uh, make a theory that they will be or the faster car will be three laps ahead of the slower car and if that theory seems to be or proven to be true then that means if we want to know how long will it take for the faster car to be five laps ahead of the slower car then all we have to do is to multiply 240 by 5 and then check if it's really five if they are really five laps uh, they have difference of five laps okay but let's look at 240 times 3 at 720 if I divide it by 60 the time for the car X and that will give me so about 720 divided by 6 and that is 12 laps for car x and then 720 divided by 80 and that is 9 laps for car y and clearly we could see that the car x and car y has a difference of 3 laps so our theory seems to be correct so if we test that to a to 240 times 5 so this will be uh, about 1200 so we could expect that they will be or the faster car will be 5 laps ahead of the slower car at 1200 seconds and if we check so the, the travel of the two cars at 1200 seconds so remember it takes 60 seconds for car X and 80 seconds for car Y so if we divide 120 or 1200 by 60 that's about 20 laps for car X and then we have 1200 divided by 80 so that's about so if we divide 1200 by 80 we get 15 laps and clearly we could see now that the car x is five laps ahead of the slower car okay so that will be the answer for our follow-up question which is 
How long in minutes will it take for the faster car? Five laps ahead of the slower car. Okay, so the answer to the second question is after 1200 seconds, but we need to express that in minutes, so we simply divide 1200 by 60 seconds, and that's about 20 minutes. Okay, now before we end the solution to this problem, take note how we answered letter B because letter A somehow is a bit uh, easier to answer as compared to letter B because the letter A question is all about finding the LCM of 60 and 80 and then for letter B once we know uh, how many seconds will they be at the same time so if we want to have them a five laps difference then that means we simply multiply 240 by 5 and that will give us the 20 minutes or 1200 seconds now I I, I showed a that seems to be a long solution just to explain how we could get 1200 okay so you can see here uh, from this analysis so here from this analysis we were able to know that they will have one lap difference after, uh, after the first time they will be at the starting point and then two laps at the second time three laps at the third time so that makes if we want to know when will the faster car be five laps ahead of the slower car we simply multiply 240 by 5 and that gave us 1200 seconds or 20 minutes okay so I hope you're able to follow my explanation to answer this question from the book New Syllabus Mathematics 7, 9th edition through the Xingli Publishing. Okay, so that's it.